Hi, this is Dan with ITEL Networks here today to talk about SD-WAN and what it means for your business. At ITEL, SD-WAN really is a, a, a box of tools that we use to solve for different problems on a network. So when we think about SD-WAN, we think about solving some missing part of the OSI model. So at ITEL, we found a solution for creating faster connections at layer three, for creating layer two tunneling, and solving for layer four to seven flow control. What that means for your business is that without paying for MPLS or ethernet connections, we're able to build very complex networks on top of just standard broadband where those more expensive options might not be available. So on the table here today, we have three devices that form part of our SD-WAN solution offering. On the far side here, we have a peplink modem. This is a dual SIM modem. So ITEL loads each of these modems with the two major carrier networks in Canada. In this case, this modem is operating on Bell, but if Bell's network ever had a problem, it would automatically fail over to the Rogers network. The modem is then connected to one of our proprietary bonding devices. This device takes in multiple broadband connections. So in this case, we have two 100 meg fibers and the LTE, which deep in our building here is achieving about 10 megabit. That is then uplinked to this Meraki SD-WAN appliance, which is providing layer four to seven control, including an IPS IDS firewall, and the ability to shape bandwidth per user, per application, and also aggregate up to two connections. It also has an internal cellular modem for another layer of failover. The bonding device is taking these multiple connections and it's bonding them together into a single connection and presenting it to the Meraki as a single gateway. The benefit of that is we can take multiple small broadband connections such as an ADSL or an ADSL on a cable, you know, and different, different units, different hardware units can have li literally as many ports as we want. So if we want to take four, five, six ADSLs, bond them together into one big connection, if that's all we have available, we can do that. And to the Meraki, it will be a single gateway. The benefit of that method versus aggregation is that for any session-based media, when you lose a connection, the session won't drop. So I'll demonstrate that later. If we were to have a phone call or we're operating a call center, as we lose connections all the way down to the last connection or even cellular, none of our calls will drop, all of the media will persist, and all of our session-based traffic will remain intact. 